Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. This is the Arduino brass sorting machine. You drop a piece of brass into the machine and it automatically indexes it into a correct bin. I built this machine about six months ago and it's a great example of everything I love. It's machining, it's prototyping, it's, it's rapid prototyping, it's Arduino and it's motors and it was an awesome project. It was designed to automatically sort brass. Uh, brass is the layman's term for uh, brass cartridges which are used by uh, both hobbyists and commercial ammunition folks to reload ammunition. And I had a project with a partner with uh, you know, many thousands of rounds of 9, 40, and 45, and we built this little machine. Now I'm going to go into all the detail on a separate video at length for the folks who really want to see the design and the code, uh, etc. But basically it would do just that. It would feed in brass and it would index this uh, hopper to different pipes or bins to automatically sort the brass. It uses a regular Arduino. It uses two SparkFun Big Easy drivers to control two steppers. One stepper here, which rotates the cams, and one stepper at the bottom here, which rotates the hopper. It also uses a servo motor to open the hopper door. The way it works is there are these two cams here. They're geared together, and they're on an offset shank. As the stepper motor rotates them, the distance between the two pit rollers expands. There's a laser, also from SparkFun, and a liquid wear ambient light sensor that detects when the path has been broken. And when the path is broken, it starts opening the rollers, and when the light resumes, the machine notes, knows that the case has fallen through, and it then records how many steps it took to open the rollers, and it compares that to the programmed sizes and then automatically sorts the piece of brass into the correct bin. Uh, so that's the really quick overview. It's not the prettiest machine, but my belief when it comes to prototyping like this is it's okay to fail, but fail fast and fail cheap. So get something up and working. It doesn't have to look pretty. It should work. It should be functional. You should think about how you can continue to tweak it as you build it, but it doesn't need to be a fully, fully baked you know, perfect and pretty product. And this is, a, I think, a pretty good example of that. Now, it was sitting on my shelf and I'm ready to actually cannibalize these parts into another project and I thought, hey, maybe you guys would like to see it. So that's the quick overview video. You can click here to see the much longer in-depth video going into the design and the Arduino code, etc. If you've enjoyed this, please do me a favor, folks, comment below or like this video. It does mean a lot to me. Otherwise, that's all for now. Take care, folks. Thanks.